LeBron James, uh, he has accomplished a feat um, that most people, including myself, thought that, you know, would never be possible. Um, and I think that it's a testament to his uh, physical, you know, stamina, his mental stamina, um, just his overall durability, his ability to just play smart, um, take rest within games. I mean, I think LeBron at this point is he's, you know, if he was at 100 percent when he was winning MVP in terms of capacity, he's probably at like 73 percent. But that 73% is still better than 90% of the league. Um, so I think that at this point in his career, you know, once LeBron dips below that 65% on his, on his life meter in terms of basketball, he'll stop, uh, you know, or barring a major injury, which I, you know, hope doesn't happen. Um, I want to see LeBron continue to win and do well. Um, it's great for basketball. He's never going to pass Michael Jordan. So all the, you know, Jordan fanatics are going to stay Jordan fanatics. All the magic fanatics will stay magic fanatics. Um, and so on and so forth. So like, I don't really get too caught up in the LeBron James. Like, is he the goat? Is he not the goat? He's not my goat. Um, so I don't really care. Like I, I, I'm just being honest. He's not my goat. So I don't really care. Um, but I do think that the feat of passing 40,000 points is actually incredible. Um, you know, like to think, um, because I was even watching a video and, and we'll watch some of that later and react to that. But even just to think that, um, like back in the day, sometimes you would have to shoot three free throws in order to be awarded two points, right? And if you missed a free throw and someone scored it, it was like one point. And, but the person that missed the free throw got the point for the free throw. So there's been a lot of weird rules and things of that sort um, that, you know, have like taken away not only from what old scores were able to do, but also add it to, you know, what they were able to do. Because even just the free throw thing and imagine how many missed free throws where an offensive rebound was recorded and that person scored, but that bucket or that point might have went to Kareem. You know what I mean? So I don't really get too caught up in, in, the, in the drama, um, but I think what LeBron has done is amazing, and he should. Um, he deserves a round of applause for that. I don't have any applause in my um, thing, but he deserves a round of applause for what he's done. Um, I think 20 years is insanity. That level of longevity is crazy. Um, even when you think about old guys or guys that have played to or around this age, like Jordan was a shell of himself, basically playing on one leg. Um, and, you know, you know, Kareem, shell of himself. Wilt, older, shell of himself. Um, and then even if you look at guys like Kevin Willis, who wasn't necessarily like a great player, he was an all-star, but he played until he was like 44, 45, I believe. Um, and he was just like a good quality role bench guy, like a Udonis Haslam type of player. Um, so to see that LeBron is still, I don't think he's top 10 anymore. I think he's more like in that 12 to 14-ish kind of range. Um, and we can go through and I can name who the top 10 people that I think, you know, there are right now um, a little bit later. But I just think what LeBron has done is amazing. Um, I cover the Lakers Clippers game. Um, so I witnessed LeBron do that in person. I witnessed that phenomenal performance. I witnessed all of those threes. I was literally in the media booth when LeBron was standing five feet behind a three-point line, I'm like, please take a LaFuck you three. Please take a LaFuck you three. And then he just kept taking them, and he kept making them. Um, he outplayed the Clippers um, by himself in the fourth quarter. He was absolutely phenomenal. And I had only seen LeBron James play in person twice, and the last time I saw him play, he didn't really have a good game versus the Clippers. Um, so to see a vintage LeBron James, you know, virtuoso scoring performance in person. Um, I'm definitely a believer. Um, he's number two to me, but, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with being the second best to ever do something. Like if people regarded me as the second best podcaster ever, like they was like Joe Rogan, number one, TPJ, number two, I would be flattered. You know what I mean? So um, I wouldn't be upset. Like, no, I'm the best. Like, I don't think I'm the best in the world. 
but I am one of the best to ever do it, if that makes sense. So shout out to LeBron, man. 40,000 points is crazy. Um, let's actually pull up what he's did. LeBron, according to Stat Muse, um, he is the only member of the 27,000 points, 7,000 assists, 7,000 rebound club, the 28,000 point, 8,000 uh, uh, assists, 8,000 rebound club, the 29,000 point, 9,000 assists, 9,000 rebound club, the first member of and the only member of the 30,000 10,000 assists, 10,000 rebound club. The only member of the 35,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, 10,000 assists club. The only member and the only person to ever score 40,000 points in the NBA, record 10,000 assists and 10,000 rebounds. So I think what LeBron has done for his career is like, like I, rem- I, re- I remember, like I'm – I'm 33. I'll be 34 this year. So when LeBron was coming into the league, I was 13. I was like headed into high school. And I remember, you know, um, LeBron being LeBron. Like, I don't really even know how to describe it. Either. Like, I just genuinely remember LeBron James being LeBron James. He's always been a, a virtuoso in terms of basketball. Um, he was the biggest thing smoking back in 2003. He's still the biggest thing smoking or running right now. Um, even though I do think Giannis in terms of brand is, well, he would never be as big as LeBron, but I think in terms of this face of the league conversation that everyone has been talking about, I think Giannis is there. I just think that black people view Giannis as corny. So because they view Giannis as corny and they view LeBron as like cool and this hip pop kind of guy, Giannis doesn't really get the 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 level of adulation that I think he deserves. Even like Doc Rivers mentioned it the other day. And we'll talk about the Bucks because the, we talked a lot about the Bucks, um, you know, before in terms of their struggles. Um, but overall, I just look at the landscape of hoops and of ball, and I'm like, Giannis is right there. Um, I think people are looking for a new face of the league, but I don't really know why they are looking for a new face of the league. Giannis is literally right there. His English is much, much improved since when he, you know, since when he first got started. I understand that they want the young guys like Shea and Luca and Wimby to be the face of the league, but if we've been honest, like Giannis is still has ten more years of basketball left if he wants to play. Like, I don't necessarily, let's see, how many points Giannis career points. Giannis has 18,999 points in his career. Giannis has played. He's played 11 seasons. So, and Giannis did not average over 20 until his third season. So. Theoretically, if Giannis could average over 25 a game for the next eight, nine years, he won't get to 40,000, but he might hit 35,000. He could definitely, I think Giannis has the potential to finish his career as a top five scorer of all time if he wants to. Um, Giannis has uh, got a career year in terms of numbers. Like he's shooting. <coughs> Excuse me. And Giannis might be the first person in the history of basketball to score over 30 points per game while shooting over 60 uh, percent from the field. He's currently shooting 61.9 percent. I'm sorry. He's currently shooting 61.9 percent from the field goal range. Um, He's actually taking less shots than he took last year. Um, He's actually taking 18.6 shots. That is tied for his second lowest since 2019. So I think to see what he's doing, um, you know, is incredible. I mean, two-time MVP, defensive player of the year, fourth MVP voting three years ago, third MVP voting two years ago, third MVP voting last year, sixth MVP, uh, defensive player of the year voting past two years he's been an all-star he's been first team all defense first team all nba um so i think Giannis has the potential to maybe crack some of these um let's see actually totals Giannis total rebounds yeah Giannis. 
Giannis has the chance to, I believe, crack the – nah, actually, I take that back. Nah, the shit LeBron is doing is insane, bro. Like, even if I'm looking at Giannis, Giannis will definitely score more than 27,000 points in his career. I wholeheartedly believe that. He will definitely have more than 7,000 rebounds in his career. He has more than 7,000 right now. So he'll definitely, Giannis will definitely get to 10,000 rebounds in his career. He'll definitely get to 30,000 points. But the assist thing is where LeBron is just insane because Giannis is putting up about 360 assists round about a year, um, averaging around like five and a half assists. Um, he has 3,700, well, well, well 3,751 uh, assists in his career. Uh, so, I mean, maybe, maybe LeBron, maybe Giannis can meet LeBron in the 27,000, 7,000, 7,000 club. But, like, I think Luca will, I think, actually, let's look at what Luca's doing. Let's actually look at what Luca Doncic is doing. Luka Doncic. Let's look at what Luka's doing, actually. Luka in one, two, three, in six seasons has scored. In six seasons, Luka has scored 10,000 points. He's grabbed 3,137 assists and 3,287 rebounds. Now, Luka might be the only one that could maybe catch LeBron because Luka's done this in six years and Luka is still only 25 years old. So let's say theoretically Luka plays 15 more years, right? If he scored 10,000 points or he basically had 11,000 points in six years, double that, that's going to put him at 21,000 in 12 years. By the time he's at 15 years, he's going to at least be at, 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 uh, at 25,000 points per game. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not per game. He's going to be at least at 25,000 total points per game. I'm sorry, he's going to be at 25,000 total points. Jesus Christ. Um, and then you just add longevity. But even still, to catch LeBron, you would have to, like, the numbers that he, he would have to play 20 years and average basically what he's, he's basically would have to average over 25 for 20 years. I just don't know how anyone catches what LeBron has done um, and in terms of stats, he's a statistical God. There's no arguing that he's a statistical God. You have to honor everything that he is and everything that he's done. LeBron is a statistical God. Um, and you know, it is what it is. First and only member of the 40,000 points club, LeBron James. I was out here creeping on the low, feeling like I should end confessions, yo. Had you out here blessing.